everyone. It's Shane and I'm here at the, all right, I'm here. I'm in the Rockaway Hotel. Me and Dana the Great just had a beautiful meeting. And uh, yeah, we're in a, this is a really sacred and fun space to get shit done and to really enjoy. And something that I've been working with all week is getting out of my comfort zone. And so that's what I'm going to share about today. I'm going to be on as long as I can. Um, thank you. I do have a new lid. And I'm, uh, yeah, it's a lot brighter here. So this whole week, I have been in, indulging in the ocean um, in, the, in the New York Rockaway, not Rockaway, the New York Dippers Club. And it's, I, I love getting out of my self-expression comfort zone, but my physical comfort zone is very sacred like I like to be comfortable I like to be warm um, and so if this is the first time you're joining I wanted to introduce myself my name is Shane Coleman Enchantress Shane and I run the icon Academy and my method is unconventional icon and that is what I work with a bunch of clients on I run a group program and the reason is I love working with people who want to change their the world in their way in their unconventional quirky awkward messy chaotic way and the truth is something that um, is so powerful is you know when you're in your world and you think everything's a mess and chaos and you can't actually do anything because you don't have your shit together it's actually the most opportune time to take big actions because it lets you see yourself in a, through different lens through a different lens and that's really important and so this week getting out of my comfort zone because that's what it starts with right it starts with saying like I want to do something that's unusual for me that's gonna make me uncomfortable that's gonna make me have to deal with the stuff that comes up right we already have so much stuff coming up and this would be a risk a choice of where you want to step into um, so again I love helping people jump through their own comfort zones and if it's self-expression whether it's art or theater or dance or dress or speaking like I'm in for it I basically work on myself with that 24 7 like I'm committed but I've never walked on fire I've never jumped out of an airplane um, I've tried to skateboard, I busted my ass right away. I've tried to roller skate, I fell down right away. Like, I don't push myself physically because I'm scared. I've tried everything. I've tried surfing, I've tried skiing, I've done all the big things. And I'm like, all right, I did it. But going in the ocean this week, never mind just going in the ocean, but being somewhere at 9 a.m. has been a really big deal for me and if you watch my stories on Instagram you'll see me running in the ocean today somebody caught me on camera running in it's like who am I so I want to ask you you fell off a 25 foot ladder well that doesn't sound like you chose to do that so this is the things that I'm suggesting are things that you choose to do right so another one we just had New York City Marathon like I would I'm not gonna do that maybe you'll catch me saying look I'm gonna do it I don't know but the truth is the leader of the New York Dippers um, club his name is Graham and he was at our Rockaway creates event and he was talking about going in the ocean and I was like no I don't do that I like set this limit of like no that's not for me and then he started saying the things that I say to people like oh well if you haven't tried it yet da, da, da. and I was like yes yeah, save your story buddy but then I was like, oh really Shane, you're gonna be so limited? And then of course the next day, it was gorgeous outside in New York. We've had a little bit of crazy warm weather and it was easy to go in. Then it got colder and colder and now we have our winter coats on and I've been going into the ocean every morning. I skipped two because I had appointments. Every morning in New York City, in Rockaway Beach. And it's been so surprising and delightful. And today, I wasn't like, oh, I'm just gonna go there and figure it out, Rah! I actually woke up early, had a little breakfast, like I planned it. 
So I'd love to know, when is the last time you chose? Thank you, Yvonne. Um, when is the last time you chose to get out of your comfort zone? Now, it doesn't have to be your physical comfort zone. That was kind of, that's what I'm doing. Um, and this is really what I love doing for my work, right? For my coaching program and is to really help people who think they're a mess, who think that their shit is so fucked up, turn it into success. You know, like I woke up with that tagline a couple of weeks ago and I love it. And it's the best thing. Working with me is the best thing ever. And I'll tell you why. Because I really give a shit. So I would love to know, what do you give a shit about so much? Like, what do you feel like in this world that you want to change in your kind of way, right? Some people talk about changing the world and to that, to them, it means like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, start a fund and raise money, or I'm going to be in the forefront and I'm going to teach the da da da, A, B, and C, whatever. And for some people, it's like, I'm going to work with um, families or teens. But what do you care about so much? That's my question to you, that you want it to be different. You know, there's a lot of things that could be different and change in this world. But what do you give a shit about? Like for some people, I, I spoke to an amazing woman today and she has such beautiful, what we call medicine to give out to people. And it's how to face your life using the elements of nature. And so if you're overly emotional, then you have a lot of water going on in your world and you need more earth. And so she works directly with the elements in that way. And I thought, that's so cool. It's not how I do it, but it's how she does it. So what is your, what are you passionate about? Are you passionate about saving animals? Are you passionate about um, sex trafficking in this country? I mean, these are big things but they don't have to be. They could be, um, you're really passionate about people leaving leaves in their yard for all the animals in the winter. So where do you want to be of service? Or where do you at least think something should be done? Sometimes it starts with that area where you're like, something should be done. So last week at the Rockaway Creates um, meeting, and I'm on the board of this amazing organization, somebody was handing out papers about the piping plovers. <laughs> the piping plovers are little birds. They're so tiny. And in Rockaway, they close off several beaches um, for these piping plovers. And she was so passionate about it. And I was like, all right, lady. Now, I wasn't judging the her passion but I was just like you know what this is really important to her and that I get excited about what's up everybody oh, of course you're here so I'm talking about what you feel passionate about maybe you feel passionate about race relations in your neighborhood so getting really clear on not only what you're passionate about but what do you feel like should change and how are you excited about being a part of that change that's the people that I love working with and so today, me asking you these questions is maybe you don't know, but maybe you do know. And that's who I get pumped on because then your little piece is contributing to the betterment of our world, right? So something I did in my women's group that I lead, um, we made cards for foster children and they were birthday cards. And so you can mail, I could give you the address if you want it, you basically mail out birthday cards. You can't write names, obviously, but you can write dear friend or write nothing or just happy birthday, may your smile always surprise you in the mirror, whatever you want to write. And then with that, you mail them to this, you mail them as a package to this um, nonprofit in Texas. And then kids who are foster kids and don't have families get birthday cards. How amazing is that? And so how I work with people is like this. We figure out, or maybe you already know, your mission, and then we work on furthering your mission by taking actions. It's so exciting. So I'd love to know your feedback on this. I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm sure they'll show up later. Um, and so today, when I was talking to this amazing woman who talked about healing and helping people with the elements, it's like we continue to um, 
you know, we have the news, we have elections, we have this other stuff going on that we can barely do anything about. We can vote for sure. And so maybe you sitting at a polling booth makes you feel good. But what else can you do where you get to give back in a way? I work with so many successful people who are like, something's missing, I don't know what the fuck it is. And I don't know what's next. And it's that piece. And so I love, I'd love to give you permission and space to share what you really give a shit about. So I really give a shit about teenagers who are um, court involved. So that could mean foster care, that could mean um, they've been arrested, um, incarcerated. Like I really, if I really had to be honest, I don't even think it is court involved mainly, but it's really specifically incarcerated youth. I love them and I've taught them and they, they're always like hard, but I love them and there's so much payback so quick. Their heart is like right at the front. You know, and they're misunderstood. And so I love working with the misunderstood, right? It lights me up. You could see it in my face. Hence the title, Unconventional Icon. So I just want to say that um, right now, um, so I'm doing this dip in the morning at 9 a.m. every fucking day. And the guy who's leading it, his name is Graham, as in Graham Cracker, he's raising money for this um, organization called Camp Connect. It's beautiful. And it takes inner city youth, I don't even know if that's the term they use anymore, and brings them camping. How fucking cool is that? And we saw this great um, documentary last week at the Rockaway Film Festival Locals Night. And we're raising $5,000. I'll put the link up later. But basically, it's it's that kind of thing where you're like, I want to do what I'm doing because it's fun, it's healthy, it feels good. And with that, money, most of the time, all the time, just shows up. Like when your intention is clear, you're having a good time, you become a natural magnet. So what you do, you have to really care about. It can't be for the money. The money comes when you're feeling joyful, when you're feeling great, when you're feeling loving. And that's what this guy's doing and it's totally reminding me about how amazing it is to do that. And so when I'm working with people that I fucking love, like I think about them, I'm like, what about this? Do let's do this. We're like a team. Um, so two things. I'd love for you to donate to this Camp Connect. Oh my God, hello, Mindy. But also, I want to know what you're fucking passionate about. Like, I want to know what kind of people do you want to heal? I want to know, do you want to help the world and you just don't know how? Like, it's this kind of stuff where you won't know where to put your energy. So if you have a lot of energy and you're like, I don't know what to focus on, and then guess what? When you don't know what to focus on, life comes in, right? And life that's like things you have to do, people you have to fix and help and blah, blah, blah. But when you have a north star that's driving you and your passion is like, everything else gets done, right? And so if you are caring for an elderly family member or if you are you know, working with something that's kind of not fun but it's a job and you know you have to do it, when all those things are front and center, it's depleting, right? And maybe there's some good in it, but if it's not your north star, it's depleting. So when you have your passion and maybe you're multi-passionate and you're working on it, everything else is a priority, but it's not your North Star. And it's very different than having a to-do list or knowing where you have to show up and okay, I did it. And then you fall home exhausted. So my invitation to you is, you know, listen, folks, we're under 50 days before 2022 is over. Sorry to let that let you know that. So get ready to be on the super slide and imagine that you didn't have to wait for some bullshit 2023, like whatever they call it. I don't even remember when you make like a promise to yourself. What's it called? Oh, Mark. Oh, that's cool. What are you going to, what are you doing? It's so funny. Manhattan is like only an hour away from Rockaway, but you know, it's not close, but I'd love to see you guys. 
So that is the thing that I want you to all know is that before this year comes to an end, wouldn't it be exciting to already start working on something amazing? And if you don't know what you're working on, look up, even if you don't ask me, just go on your computer. You can have pen pals with people in prison. And if you don't give them your address, it goes through the system. Another thing is you can answer Dear Santa letters there are bags and bags of letters from children who just write Dear Santa and they, they address it to the North Pole and the post office holds them. You can go to any post office, <clears throat> ask them for Dear Santa letters and see what you can fulfill. Sometimes they ask for things like mittens or a toy for my baby sister. Like, And some of them are like, I want an Xbox. But, but a lot of them are just so some of them will make you cry they're like we don't have any matching socks we don't have any money and you're like oh my god I need to buy you 10 pairs of socks so there's ways like this and then you and then even bigger and better is that you can make it big enough like that you start some kind of movement right so let's say you get 10 letters from the post office and you can answer about five of them and then you give them out to your community and now you have a thing going and now you have a celebration look at all the good stuff we did so don't go through the end of this year feeling just like a punk ass like you can contribute in ways that you don't even have to leave your fucking couch all right so i'm gonna cut us right now because i have to pack it up it's a little chilly i'll give you a quick little tour um i'm once again booking vip sessions here at the rockaway hotel There's a sauna and pools, and we'll work on how to get your year kicked off in a fucking powerful way so that even if you're feeling like a mess, oh my God, Mindy, you didn't know about this? It's so good. If you, um, yeah, if you wanna work on your life, if you wanna work on changing the world in your kind of way, um, and right now you feel like it's a mess, I bet you we can turn it into a success so that your calendar is filled with fun stuff that you're looking forward to. You know, we all have hardships that go on and actually Mindy Dubberg just gave this amazing, she's a spiritual teacher, an alchemist, like a beautiful healer and she's been giving a three class series um, with survival tools for the holidays. You know, whether it's travel that's annoying you or people that are annoying you or you're annoying yourself, the holiday times brings all energy up to a crescendo and so having something that's your north star to work on following up with Mindy watching her classes if you didn't see them send her a message um, and signing up to get support in some way and not not even just support but like expansion beyond your wildest dreams all right, everyone, I'm gonna keep up moving with the day. Thanks for showing up for the Friday Coven. If you're watching on the replay, just type replay so I know you were here so I can shine some light on you with my eyes. Have an amazing day. And then Sunday, I am launching Loud and Proud um, Enchanted Treasures. They're beautiful adornments and clothing right now just for women um, to make your life feel like you feel like the iconic person that you are so come on to nurture you to see that if you're local and if you're not you want me to like pick up some items for you let's have a conversation and um have a glorious weekend okay bye